Hi, welcome to our brand new Microsoft Azure Fundamental AZ900 Practice Questions 2022. In this video, we are going to discuss all the dummy questions of Microsoft Azure 900 exam. I am your host Kushal Mehta and let's get started. Question 57. True or false? When you delete a resource group, all the resources in the resource group are deleted. And the options are Option 1. True Option 2. False And the correct answer is Option 1. True Explanation The correct answer is true. Deleting a resource group deletes all resources in the resource group. A resource group is a collection of Azure resources with specified requirements and is a logical container for all Azure resources in your Azure subscription. Therefore, when a resource group is deleted, all resources in the resource group are also deleted. Question 58. True or false? Resource groups can only contain resources from the same Azure region. And the options are Option 1. True. Option 2. False. And the correct answer is Option 2. False. Explanation. The correct answer is false. A resource group can contain resources from multiple Azure regions. After the Create Resource Group page is displayed, you need to enter an appropriate resource group name and select a region. Question 59. True or false? A resource group can contain resources from multiple Azure regions. And the options are Option 1. True. Option 2. False. And the correct answer is Option 1. True. Explanation. The correct answer is true. A resource group can contain resources from multiple Azure regions. When creating an Azure resource using the portal or CLI commands, users can choose from multiple regions in which to create. The resources in a resource group can be located in different regions than the resource group. When you create a resource group, you need to provide a location for that resource group. You may be wondering, why does a resource group need a location? And if the resources can have different locations than the resource group, why does the resource group location matter at all? The resource group stores metadata about the resources. When you specify a location for the resource group, you are specifying where at the metadata is stored. For compliance reasons, you may need to ensure that your data is stored in a particular region. Except in global resources like Azure Content Delivery Network, Azure DNS, Azure Traffic Manager, and Azure Front Door. If a resource group's region is temporarily unavailable, you can't update resources in the resource group because the metadata is unavailable. The resources in other regions will still function as expected, but you can't update them. Question number 60. You are using Azure app to develop multiple web applications. Which of the following URLs are used to manage the web application on Azure app? And the options are Option 1 portal.microsoft.com Option 2 azure.portal.com Option 3 portal.azure.net Option 4 portal.azure.com And the correct answer is Option 4 portal.azure.com Explanation Option 4 is the correct answer. If you need to create and manage an Azure web app, you can do it from the Azure portal as shown below. The URL for the Azure portal is portal.azure.com. Option 1 is incorrect. This URL is the Microsoft portal screen, not the admin screen for the Azure web app. Option 2 and 3 are incorrect. The URL does not exist. Question 61. As an operations manager, you are in charge of managing each service in Azure. You are looking to find advice about maintenance related events for Azure resources. Which service located on the Azure portal would you use? And the options are 
Option 1. Azure Advisor Option 2. Security Center Option 3. Help and Support Option 4. Cost Management and Billing And the correct answer is Option 2. Security Center Explanation Option 3 is the correct answer. You can find more information about maintenance in the help and support on the Azure portal. Plan maintenance information can be found on Service Health page. Option 1 is incorrect. Azure Advisor is a feature that provides only recommendations on cost, security, performance, operational excellence, high availability, and more. Option 2 is incorrect. The Security Center is a feature that provides details about policies and compliance, threat protection, and more. Option 3 is incorrect. Cost management and billing is a feature that provides only billing coverage and cost management details. Question 62. You have just created an Azure account and are preparing to deploy Azure services. Which of the following should be created next? And the options are Option 1. Virtual Network Option 2. Free Account Option 3. Subscription Option 4. Azure 80 And the correct answer is Option 3. Subscription Explanation Option 3 is the correct answer. After creating an Azure account, you first need to create a subscription and then configure resource groups, etc. Within that subscription, you can set up multiple subscriptions for one account. Question 63. You are preparing a server for application development using Azure. To do this, you need to create an Azure virtual machine using your Android laptop. Solution. Use Bash with Azure Cloud Shell. Will this achieve the goal? And the options are Option 1, yes. Option 2, no. And the correct answer is Option 1, yes. Yes is the correct answer. You can use Bash from Cloud Shell by logging into the Azure portal from your Android laptop. Then you can create a new virtual machine from Bash with CLI. Cloud Shell is a management machine for Azure, managed by Microsoft. Azure Cloud Shell gives you the flexibility to choose the best shell operation for your business. Both Bash and PowerShell are possible options for this. Question 64. Your company has 500 virtual machines hosted on a Hyper-V host in an on-premises environment. You plan to move all of these to Azure. What will the spending model of your company be after migrating to Azure? And the options are Option 1. Capital Expenditure Option 2. Operating Expenditure Option 3. Elasticity Option 4. Scalability And the correct answer is Option 2. Operating Expenditure Explanation Option 2 is the correct answer. With Azure, you pay only for what you use and there is no initial cost. Details of capital expenditure and operating expenditure are as follows. Capital expenditure. Capital expenditure incurs the cost of physical infrastructure in advance, to which tax deductions can be made over a period of time. Capital expenditure has an initial cost and will decrease in value over time. Operating Expenses Operating expenses is the amount you are currently spending on services and products and is frequently billed for. These costs will be deducted from the tax claim for that same year. There is no initial cost. You pay as you use. A service or product. In other words, spending on cloud services like Azure match closer to concept of operating expenditure as opposed to CapEx. Thank you for watching this video. Please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Buy our premium AZ bundle 
with 90% off. Check link in the description.